Hey there, Bat fans. It's me, Andy DiGenova, Holy Batcast. I am here at the Warner Brothers Studio lot. If you look behind me, that's the Stephen J. Ross Theater here on the lot, and I'm about to walk in and see Suicide Squad. Uh, obviously, excitement's very high. The reviews came out today, not glowing, which is very sad. Um, but honestly, it, even the negative reviews sound like the movie they were promising. So it's a movie I'm looking forward to, and I get to see Batman, the Joker, and our very first cinematic Harley Quinn on the big screen in just a few minutes I'm not gonna not be excited so I'm thrilled I'm gonna go in and check it out and then when I come out I'm gonna record my uh, reactions for you hopefully they are good ones so uh, let's go in and check out Suicide Squad seriously what the hell's wrong with you people we're bad guys it's what we do really hey everybody it's me Andy DiGenova Holy Batcast, you know that. You already saw the beginning. I uh, just walked out of Suicide Squad here at Warner Brothers, and uh, I'm, this is gonna sound just like Batman v Superman. I loved it, guys. I thought it was awesome. Uh, pure entertainment, totally fun, and uh, I had just had a blast with it. I loved how efficiently it told the story and introduced all the characters. I thought the all the intros were great. Um, I, I thought. Um, you know, the characters and the interaction was really the strong part and the and the 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 actors in the cast like they all did a great job of course harley quinn was awesome uh little little nitpicks uh i you know i've already heard that the joker is kind of pointless and I, he is but at the same time would you rather have a little Joker and make it a little pointless or have no Joker at all? I'd take a little Joker, um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what he does in the future. Uh, Harley Quinn, she's great. Deadshot is great. Um, I'm shocked that I really liked Rick Flagg. I didn't expect that, um, and I, I understand why they cast Tom Hardy to begin with, because his part is really big. But Joel Kinnaman, who I have no opinion of, uh, I think stepped up really well and did, did a great job as well. Um, Jared Leto was was good as the Joker, but I feel like we just didn't get enough for me to have a really strong opinion on him yet. Other than yeah, it's good. I'll, I'll I'll see more of him in the future. Um, but for me, it was it was Deadshot, Harley Quinn, um, Rick Flag, shocking. Um, so uh, overall, had a blast with it. Of course, I'm going to uh, dissect it in excruciating detail on the podcast, but my initial reaction is extremely positive. I I don't understand a lot of the negative reviews because it is just a purely fun and energetic summer movie that you just will go and have a blast with and so I don't get where where the negativity is coming from again not a perfect movie there's some issues here and there um, the villain eh, fine you know but not not great um, but the squad is so good that I forgive it that's fine um, so I had a blast with it I'm gonna see it multiple times and then I will dissect it in excruciating details very soon so make sure that you do uh, keep an eye out for that on the podcast hopefully you guys enjoyed it ignore negative reviews check it out have fun with it uh, get your squad together go have a blast because uh, I again loved it can't wait to see it again um, and uh, I'm glad I have plans to see it multiple times because I was afraid if I didn't like it that would have been sucky um, wasn't a problem can't wait to see it again Suicide Squad uh, I thought was was awesome so uh, hopefully you guys liked it too that's it for me uh, Andy DiGenova Holy Batcast and we will see you all very very soon Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Holy Batcast. You can watch some of our other videos right here, and please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. You can also go to our website, holybatcast.com, so where you'll find the audio podcast. And if you listen to that show, do us a huge favor, please go to iTunes and rate and review the show there. It really helps get the word out about the show. Plus, on that website, where you're gonna be able to pick up and purchase your very own stylish Holy Batcast shirt of your very own. So if you're feeling jealous, you can get one of these for you or a Bat fan in your life. You can also find us all over social media on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just search for Holy Batcast, and there we are. And like Michael Keaton's Batman always says, I want you to tell all your friends about me. So tell your Bat fans in your life about Holy Batcast because we're always interested in meeting new Batman fan friends. So that will do it for this episode. We will see you around Gotham.